The market may be flat, not doing very much. The Nifty is down about 20 to 23 points. Banks are doing a little better. But uh, there is always chatter, isn't there, Nimesh? <laughs> Afternoon. Often, Prashant. So, uh, you know, it's a difficult day, uh, even from a chatter point of view, because it's nothing is happening much. You know, even the flows are quite muted. We've been seeing a range-bound market for the last many days, but there was a lot of action and there was buying as well. That seems to be absent in today's trade. That's the overall feedback. The sector which really outperforms is the, is the, is the Nifty Bank. And again, that's, that's largely backed by FI buying. So the buying continues in private bank stocks from the larger institutions. That's the overall feedback. Uh, in terms of sectors, there are two divergent moves today. One is the pharma sector, which is largely under pressure and back of weak numbers from Dr. Reddy's. And some, uh, you know, there was some chatter about uh, weak uh, export data as well. That's put a lot of pressure in the other pharma names as well. On the other side, there is a bit of buying interest back in the cement names, largely on back of hope that, you know, there could be some price X as well. So that's been a big talking point within the big outperformance in the cement names in today's trade. But broadly, a range-bound trade, but even the participation is on the lower side, uh, both from larger FIs as well as from retail investors. Okay, got that. Uh, what about uh, individual names? Anything interesting catching the eye, Nimesh? Well, uh, you know, so in terms of individual names, the first stock in my list today is uh, Indian Hotels. After a big, big move in that stock in the last many days, some bit of profit booking now in today's state. So there are sell flows, uh, 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 and there is a bit of profit booking as well. But you know, all eyes will be on the uh, analyst mid today evening, uh, and that's going to be uh, that's going to be very important. So Indian Hotels is, is the first stock. The second stock is uh, Sona BLW and Max Healthcare. I spoke about Max Healthcare as a potential inclusion into the into the MSCI, but Sonacom could be a dark horse, and that is that is what a lot of uh, dealers are expecting that that could be added. If, that's, if that stock get, gets added to the MSCI, you could see a buying of close to 1,000 crores in Sonar BLW, and, that's, and hence that stock could be in focus. The third stock is Grief Scott, and uh, for the last couple of days, good, good, good volumes on that stock, and a bit of accumulation as well. I believe some large HNIs and some family offices have, quite, have turned quite active in Grief Scott and off late. Uh, remember, the, the results are tomorrow, so that. That's something to track in Greaves Cotton. And the last stock is GMDC. While we, we, we keep talking about all the Gujarat-based stocks doing good, GMC, GMDC today stands out largely on back of buy flows. So some bit of interest is back in GMDC as well. Of course, it's a it's an overall Gujarat play, but I guess uh, there is specifically some buying interest back in GMDC as well. Mm, okay. Uh, <clears throat> um, Namesh, thank you very much for that. I'm looking at Sona. Uh,